Hi guys, it's Andy the computer guy here, and um, just to bring you an update on an old video that I had, I will no longer be offering any support of any kind for an Android ViewPad 10, as I no longer have this tablet anymore, so I can't offer any support. However, anybody who's still stuck with installing it on a USB, I'll show, that, I'll show you exactly how to do that now. So, what you need to do is you need to go on this website, which is androidx86.org. You also need this website open, unetbooting.sourceforge.net, and I will include the links to them in the description. Now, when you're on this website here, you're going to click download. I apologize for my internet, it's a little bit slow. Um, then, you scroll down till you see this Android x86 4.0 RC2 and then you go over down to <coughs> Android x86 4.0 RC2 Tega v2 ISO and it says Tega v2 which is the device name for this build um, but the Tega v2 is the exact same tablet as the viewpad 10 so all you want to do is you click view and it starts downloading here I'll be back when that downloads right I'm back and it's downloaded here as you can see now you can either get this disk image burn it to disk and plug in a USB disk drive um, to your viewpad or you go to unit booting and then you click download for windows <coughs> and then it doesn't take long to download um, and I've also found a page with this whole uh, procedure detailed and the, the procedure of installing it itself which unfortunately I can't do as I no longer have the tablet so I will put a link for that in the description um, and here you just click disk image see where it says ISO as well you leave that as ISO and you click this browse button and then you go to download um, and then you browse for this Android x86 4.0 RC2 Tega V2 dot ISO. You click open, and then um, <coughs> once it's done here, you just leave all this as it is, and then you go to USB drive, and you select your USB drive um, letter. You click OK. <coughs> Once it's done, it will ask you to either reboot or exit. Click reboot, and um, once it's rebooted, uh, this will also come up by the way. Um, just click this program installed correctly because it's just an executable file. Um, and um, <coughs> once yeah, once you've done that, you'll have to follow the procedure of the link in the description. <laughs>